Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blogger. And in this video, I want to show you how you can make a news headline in VSCC Free Video Editor. So I'm pretty sure you all have seen news headlines kind of pop in and pop out below the screen when a news reporter presents the news. And uh, it's actually super easy to create that kind of effect in VSDC. And uh, that's what I will show you right now in this video. So to make a news headline, uh, we will be needing the rectangle object. So let me just go to add object and let me just select rectangle. Now let me just click on OK. Now let me just mark my rectangle on top of the screen. So this is where I want my rectangle to appear. And inside that rectangle, I will have my news headline. Let me just decrease the size of my rectangle a little bit. That's it. Now I want my rectangle to appear from the left hand side to the right hand side. And for that, I will be making use of the movement object. So first, let me just place my rectangle on the left hand side like this. And now let me just double click on the rectangle and let me just go to add object. Let me just go to movement. Let me just select movement and let me just click on OK. Now let me just use the movement cursor to move my rectangle from the left hand side to the right hand side like this. That's it. Now if I just quickly play the video for you, the starting point of my movement object is 0 seconds on the timeline and the ending point of my movement object is 10 seconds. And the entire duration of my rectangle object is 10 seconds. So I need to um, place my ending point of the movement object at somewhere around maybe one second. So that in the first one second, my rectangle moves from left hand side to the right hand side. So that's what I'm doing by dragging my ending point to somewhere around uh, somewhere around one second. And uh, I'm almost pretty much there. That's it. Oops, just a second. That's it. So as you can see, the object creation time is now one second. And now if I just quickly play the video for you. So this is my rectangle moving from left hand side to the right hand side in the first one second. And that's it. Now what I need to do next is I need to add um, some kind of transition at the end of my uh, at the end of my rectangle object so that just as the rectangle kind of moved in from left to right uh, it also kind of vanishes you know gracefully so for that let me just go to video effects let me just go to transitions let me just select push and let me just click on ok as you can see um, inside the type I have side so if I just click on the drop down list I have door side and strips so I want side and inside side, I want the mode right to left. So if I just quickly play the video for you, that's it. So if I just quickly play the video from the start, this is how my rectangle will move in from left to right. And uh, this is how it will kind of vanish. Perfect. Now I need to add some text in my rectangle. And so I want my text to appear at exactly one second because at one second, my rectangle will be done moving from left to right. So I place my cursor at one second and now let me just go to add object. Let me just go to text and let me just click on text right here and let me just click on OK. Uh, now let me just mark my text object inside the rectangle. That's it. Pretty much there almost. Let me just write some text. So maybe uh, let me just write news headline, news headline. And let me just change the font to something around uh, maybe impact. Let me just center align my text 
let me just increase the font size to somewhere around maybe uh, maybe 72 pixels no to somewhere around maybe 150 pixels okay I need to change the uh, font color so let me just change the font color to black that's it um, now my text ends at 10 seconds so I need to change that to 9 I need to change that to I need to change that to 9 just a second perfect so as you can see um, my text will enter the scene at one second and it will exit the scene at nine seconds so if i just quickly play the video again from the start this is my rectangle coming in from left to right then my text coming in and uh, this is my text exiting and my rectangle going out but i want to add the fade in and the fade out effect to my text so that my text appears fading in and it kind of vanishes fading out so let me just i've clicked inside the text object and now let me just go to video effects let me just go to transparency let me just select fade in and let me just click on ok now again let me just go to video effects let me just go to transparency let me just select fade out and now let me just click on ok that's it so again if i just quickly play the video for you let me just quickly play the video again for you from the start this is my rectangle coming in from the left hand side my text fading in and then my text kind of fading out and my rectangle vanishing perfect now let's just add some video so i have one video of a cartoon talking something so let me just quickly import that in the editor so i guess the name of my video was um, the same thing i guess uh, cartoon talking or something like that i don't know i don't remember properly let's let me just check yeah that's it cartoon talking all right so let me just click on open and uh, let me just click on ok and let me just drag my video below right here and let me just also shorten the duration of my video so now again if i just quickly play the video for you from the start this is a cartoon kind of saying something i have uh, the rectangle object kind of coming in from left hand side to the right hand side uh, i had the uh, text kind of fading in now this is the text fading out rectangle object kind of vanishing that's it so that's it guys this is uh, you this is how you can create a news headline in vsdc um, you can actually play around a lot of these things um, and uh, you can create your own variations as per what you really want it just depends on your creativity how much editing you want really want to do but anyway um, that's it for this tutorial do share with me your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching